Al Bayt Stadium. Inspired by traditional nomadic tents, the 60,000 capacity stadium is set to host the opening match of the FIFA World Cup 2022 and fixtures up until the semi-finals. Located in the northern city of Al Khor, a city famous for its pearl diving and fishing which has invited desert dwellers to the coast throughout the years, the stadium's design honors Qatar's past and present, highlighting the city's culture, traditions, and history. Similar to Nomad Tents, the upper tier of the modular design seating is portable and will be removed following the championship, and given to developing nations in need of sporting infrastructure. The stadium's design was revealed mid-2014 by the Supreme Committee for Delivery and Legacy SC, and Aspire Zone Foundation and was inaugurated in early 2020, coinciding with Qatar's National Sports Day. Luzail Stadium the 80,000-capacity Luzail Stadium, the largest of all eight structures, will be hosting the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 final. The design is inspired by the interplay of light and shadow seen in the fan or lantern. The structural form and facade echo the intricate motifs of art and furniture pieces found across the Arab and Islamic world during early civilizations. Due to its prominent locations in Luzail, a newly built metropolis, the master planning of the stadium features a tram system, and lush green spaces, turning it into a sustainability-focused arena that focuses on human needs and environmental conservation. Once the event is over, it will be transformed into a multi-purpose community hub with schools, shops, cafes, sporting facilities, and health clinics. The stadium was inaugurated end of 2021. Ahmad bin Ali Stadium Home to one of Qatar's most celebrated football teams in the city of Al Rayyan, the Ahmad bin Ali Stadium celebrates its close-knit community by incorporating symbols of the Qatari culture and traditions. One of the main design features is the undulating facade, made of patterns that characterize different aspects of the country, such as, the importance of family, the beauty of the desert, the native flora and fauna, as well as local and international trade. 40,000 fans will be protected via a lightweight canopy and advanced cooling systems, ensuring optimum comfort during the matches. Labeled as the Gateway to the Desert, the stadium opened its doors in December 2020 during the Amir Cup Final. Al Janoub Stadium Back in 2013, Zaha Hadid architects have been selected to work alongside AECOM for the design and construction of Al Janoub Stadium, previously known as Al Wakra Stadium. Built in al wakra one of the oldest inhabited areas of the south of Doha and nestled within a rich cultural site with profound archaeological heritage, the design is inspired by the city's history of pearl diving, fishing, and traditional dhow boats. The 40,000-seat stadium opened on May 16, 2019, coinciding with the Amir Cup final. After the World Cup, the stadium's capacity will be reduced to 20,000 attendees, whereas the other 20,000 seats will be donated to football development projects overseas. Hospitality and recreation facilities, as well as a school, event hall, cycling, horse riding, and running tracks, are some of the new amenities that are currently being developed alongside the stadium to ensure its use in the long run. Al Thumama Stadium Located 12 kilometers south of Doha, Al Thumama Stadium's design weaves Arab culture through its facade, drawing inspiration from the woven patterns of a gafia, the traditional headpiece worn by Muslim men in the Arabian region. In addition to its design, the area surrounding the project explores the importance of ecological and contextual architecture, targeting Global Sustainability Assessment System Trust GSAS, for star certification for both design and construction. The stadium ensures the saving of 40% more fresh water compared to a conventional stadium, using recycled water to irrigate green areas. 50,000 SQM of park area is integrated within the design, using native trees to cover 84% of the landscape. The stadium was inaugurated during the 49th Amir Cup Final on October 22, 2021. Education City Stadium Situated within a vibrant center of knowledge and innovation, the Education City Stadium is surrounded by academic facilities and sports organizations. Due to its particular location in Education City, the structure has been carefully designed with a great focus on accessibility. 
During construction, excavators uncovered rocks that date back 20 to 30 million years, which forced them to dig 17 meters further down, so the pitch can sit below sea level where temperatures are cooler. The facade features triangular patterns, a reimagination of traditional arabesque patterns, that appear to change color during the day following the sun's movement across the sky. The design was revealed in 2014 and was complete and open to the public in 2020. Khalifa International Stadium Built in 1976 in Al Rayyan, the Khalifa International Stadium has long been one of the most notable stadiums, having hosted the Asian Games, the Arabian Gulf Cup, and the AFC Asian Cup, among other events. For this event, the stadium is expanded to accommodate 40,000 fans and equipped with an innovative cooling technology that will allow players to compete in a comfortable environment. The structure sees an addition of a single roof to shelter the seating areas, along with a new east wing structure that will host food courts, shops, multi-purpose rooms, VIP lounges, a museum, and a health center. The reopening ceremony took place in 2017. Stadium 974. Considered one of the most innovative stadium designs of all eight structures, Stadium 974, previously known as Ras Abu Abud, is inspired by Qatar's international trade and seafaring. The number, 974, is highly significant for the project as well, as it is the international dialing code for Qatar, as well as the number of shipping containers used in its construction. The structure is located on the shore across Doha's West Bay skyline. Since it's mainly made of shipping containers, the 40,000 capacity stadium will be entirely demount upon completion of the World Cup and used as a waterfront development for the local community. The stadium was inaugurated on November 20, 2021, via a digital launch.